What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I really can't say it enough. Um, I said it before in a video. It's just so hard to sit down and sit in front of a camera and talk to it and then edit yourself and watch yourself back and see like little things that you didn't notice before like the way that your mouth moves and the way that you hold your brushes. I know it's so crazy to think about but seeing those things when you edit a video is just so hard to see and critique yourself on it so I just want to say thank you so much for watching and all of the support it truly does mean everything to me but yeah I wanted to create this look for you all it's a simple Valentine's Day look it's very feminine and very girly and flirty so if you are looking for one I hope you like this one and I hope you enjoy this video so if you want to see how I got this Valentine's Day look, then just keep watching. Alright, let's just go ahead and get started. I have already prepped and moisturized the skin using the um, Mario Badescu Lavender Facial Spray and the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. For primer, I'm going to go in with the, let's see, this is the Lancome Intense Illuminate Highlighter Shimmery Dewy Glow. And that's what it looks like there. So I'm going to apply this all over the skin. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with the Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay Foundation. And I'm going to pump this on the back of my hand and dot it all over the face. That way we have an even application. And to buff that out, I'm going to be using the Morphe E6 brush. For brows, I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. And just brushing out the brows first and then gonna pick up a little bit of product and gonna outline the underneath of the brow So I'm going to clean up the brows with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser and the e.l.f. eyeliner brush. And I always like to bring the tail a little longer than my natural uh, tail of my brow because I want the I want the brow to be longer than my eye, my eye if that makes sense. I don't want to have like a short stubby brow and then like my eye to stick out further than the brow. You know what I mean? So yeah, I always take out the tail just a little longer. So I think I am going to start vlogging eventually. Not right right now or like right away. But I'm going to start vlogging eventually. Just because I feel like I live like an interesting life. And I'm always cooking and I would love to show you all like what I cook and how I cook it. And cleaning videos and all that stuff. I just think that would be fun and I've always been interested in doing that and I like watching those kinds of videos so if you think you would like my vlogs let me know. Wow I feel like this is taking forever. Okay so I'm gonna go ahead and prime the eyelids with this same concealer. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with that Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. And I'm going to set the lids with the Cody Airspun Powder in the shade Naturally Neutral. I'm going to set the brows in place using the Lancome Brow Gel in the shade number one. Okay, 
so let's go ahead and jump right into the eye look. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. And at first, I'm going to be using the Morphe M441 brush. And I'm going to be picking up the shade Real Gar and dusting that in the crease. And next I'm going to be picking up the shade Raw Sienna, like barely, and dusting that in the crease as well, just to further blend out that first shade that we laid down. And I'm going to be using that same brush, picking up the shade Red Ochre. And I'm going to dust this into the crease and then I'm going to pull it onto the lid as well. So now I'm going to take the Morphe M535 brush and just blend all of that out. I'm going to pick up that red ochre shade again and just put this in the crease and on the outer portion of the lid. Next, I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, picking up that red shade again, and I'm gonna pack this all over the lid. And taking that Morphe M535 brush and just blending everything out. So I'm going to leave the eyes alone for now and I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm going to be using the NYX HD concealer and I'm going to apply this to the under eye area. And on my cupid's bow, the chin and a little bit on the center of the forehead. And gonna blend all of that out with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I'm ready for summer and stuff, but I like low key wish it was Christmas again. <laughs> So to set everything in place, I'm going to be using this Airspun powder once again. So to hydrate the skin a little bit, I'm going to be going in with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray, the lavender one. So now that the facial spray has dried a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and contour and bronze the skin using the Tarte Park Avenue Princess um, Chisel Bar Palette. And I'm going to pick up the shade Princess Cut. And to bronze up the rest of the skin, I'm going to be going in with the shade Carrot. This is a beautiful bronzer palette. If you do not have your hands on this, I would highly recommend it. So to clean up that contour, I'm gonna go back in with the Airspun powder and I'm just gonna clean up underneath the contour a little bit. So for highlighter, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter and I'm going to spray the brush, pick up a little bit of product and apply that to the top of the cheekbone.
and I'm going to spray my sponge a little bit and press all of that into the skin. So for the lower lash line, I'm going to pick up the burnt orange shade in the palette. And that red ochre shade and just run that under the lash line using the Morphe M441 brush. And to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner, I'm going to use the shade Primavera in the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to apply this to the brow bone. And I'm only going to apply this to the highest point of the brow. And I'm going to highlight the lower lash line with the Rimmel Eye Brightener Pencil. Mine's like almost gone, so... I was just going to brighten up that eye area just to keep everything looking bright and awake and refreshed and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes off camera and I will be right back. We have our lashes on. I went ahead and used the Gifted Mascara and the Kiss Lashes in the style number 11. Next we're going to go on to lips. So I'm going to go ahead and use the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Auburn. And next I'm going to go in with the MAC lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. And I'm just going to apply this more to the center of the lip. And to top it off with some gloss, I'm going to be using the NYX Mega Lip Shine Gloss. Um, in the shade Cosmo and I'm just going to apply this to the center of the lips as well. So yeah, this is the finished look. I love the way that everything turned out. If you are looking for a Valentine's Day look. This one's so simple, so easy, but yet still like sexy and feminine and very flirty. So yeah, please subscribe and like this video and I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for what's coming next. Bye!